Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020, where in a recent live stream I decided to try to fly the DC Designs F-15 around the world. I didn't make it, largely because of a few management issues, especially since I was pushing it to its range limits. But I decided that the resulting flights were reasonably interesting, especially because of the landing conditions each time. The first flight, the one in this video, was supposed to be from Moffett Field in the San Francisco Bay Area to Anchorage in Alaska, but because of fuel I ended up in Juneau. The DC Designs F-15 has been updated since I recorded this video. I was flying the 0.2 version, but it is now past version 1.0, so I expect things have changed quite a lot about it. Anyway, here is how the first flight went with the original audio. Okay, so... Uh-oh! Oh, okay, I was worried that the livery didn't show up. The livery did show up. Uh, it's a little bit of a plain white there, but okay. Okay. Oh, uh, somebody had said that if I changed a setting for anti-aliasing, it would help with... Uh, so, off FX DLAA. It'll help with the um, HUD. We'll see. That's San Jose International down there. Let's see how the HUD is in DLAA mode. It looks okay. Yeah, it seems to be better this way. I'm lined up for SFO, but I don't want to be lined up for SFO. Foster City here. Huh. It's missing part of the bridge. That's weird. Looks like they might need to fix the San Mateo Bridge here. Of course, we're going too high and too fast to render a whole lot of little details. But it doesn't look too bad. Okay, well, that's San Francisco. We'll ascend now. We need to get speed and efficiency. Oh, now it's looking a lot better once it's beyond the clouds. Too many clouds though. I do have real world weather. I am flying fully live here. We're past... Uh, we're at Mach 1.6 right now. It's tough to trim this. And the autopilot does not give me any confidence at all, so... If we're good on fuel, we'll dip down at Seattle. Which, at this rate, should not be too long. Mach 2.5. Technically, this is supposed to be the limit for the F-15, but... Again, no supersonic drag in the game yet, so... We will be able to go faster because the mod... The plane is set to the right thrust, and if there's no supersonic drag, you're going to get a whole lot more speed. At these speeds, any aircraft turns very, very slowly. <laughs> well, that's Eugene there, so we're in Oregon. Right there, I guess that's the city of Eugene, right there. We can see the coast. Mach 2.7 right now. And that must be Mount Shasta, uh, not Shasta, Mount uh, St. Helens. But yeah, that's Portland, this, this area here. I wonder how much lead time I need to descend into Seattle. Probably a lot. <laughs> I mean, efficiently. So, uh, there you can see the broken shape of Mount St. Helens. Yep, it's sort of fixing itself a little bit there. Oops, pressed the wrong button. I always press M for map. Instead of V, it is for VFR map. So that's SeaTac there, and there's uh, Boeing Field over there. 
a little bit choppy as it loads stuff. This is a pretty seri uh, scenery intensive area, so the frame rates will struggle a bit. Boeing Field is there. Up oh, there's Seattle. Seattle's trying to straighten itself out as we approach. Well, there's the Space Needle. Oop, oop. Okay. Up, 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 up. So, on to Alaska. So, the question is how will my fuel management do given that I did that little swoop down to Seattle I'm trying to push it to its range limits here so will we get to Anchorage I do not know we're at 38 percent fuel now there are options for other options for landing but we'll have to see Juno is around here-ish and then Anchorage is there. I wonder what those red lines are. Hmm. Well, this game is sure good at the fiddly coastline details. Maybe I should see how high I can go. I don't want to lose too much speed though. Doesn't like going past 70,000 feet a whole lot. Well, let's just get to 80,000 and call it a day as far as the height is concerned. Well, we'll see. Mach number wise, 2.2 and decreasing. Well, that's 80,000 feet. It's not gonna like going beyond that much. It's only reading 3,700 pounds of fuel. That doesn't sound good. Three to four per second. So that's about a thousand seconds worth. Less than 20 minutes. There's something there. Is that Prince Rupert? Yeah, that's Prince Rupert. CYPR. And it's P A K T. That's uh, an Alaska. Possibility. Hog. The P A J N is Juno. Don't know where they've got that. I forget where exactly it is. Interesting airport. Yeah, no, we're not gonna get to Anchorage. All right. We'll try for Juno. That's probably the best place. There's Juno. Not a big, big runway though. 16%. It'd probably take maybe a total of 40% to get over to Anchorage. I don't know, I could be a little bit more daring and go past Juno to uh, that Paya airport, but I need to check how long the runway at Paya is. Yakutat Airport. Well, it's a 7,700 foot runway. P-A-J-N is how long? I mean, it's an international airport. It's got 8,800. I think I'm too high to land at P-A-J-N right now anyway. From this height, uh, Juno is 
not a whole lot more than a bunch of concrete around a runway. There's the runway. Oh, well, we're down to 3% fuel. <laughs> Can we make it over to Paya? Gosh darn it, the icon is moving on the map a lot slower than I was hoping it would. <laughs> hmm. Let's see how quickly our fuel is ticking down here. We've got 410 pounds. <laughs> I really have caused myself a bit of a problem here, haven't I? Um, I did not throttle down there. Uh oh. Uh, the engines have shut down. This last 3% is probably not usable. Oh gosh. Oh, let's be safe and circle back to PJ, PAJN. No engine power is not great for trying to get that far, I don't think. Was counting on those extra pounds. Oh, it's not even reading the the much got electronic displays aren't reading. The HUD is gone. The HUD goes when you don't. They should have a battery. Just because the engines aren't running doesn't mean that the HUD should be off. Now, which way in do I want to go? Is there a runway to the right there? Ah, there's a P-A-G-S there. That right there is P-A-G-S. Gustavus Airport. I don't know if I want to say Gustavus Airport when I have to answer where I landed, so... Um... Over there is Juno. Uh... I don't think I have a choice. Can I glide to Juno? I'm losing speed like this right now. I tried to restart the engines. And I think it's just spooling up. I don't think it's actually gonna start. Can't really see the runway very well right now. Sure it was easier to spot like at 60,000 feet. <laughs> Nope, there's some lag here. I think it's rendering millions of trees right now. So like, without the power, do, do I get landing gear at all? Uh oh. Apparently not. It's not deploying landing gear, guys. Maybe if I spool up the engine briefly? How do I even spool up the engine if I can't get landing gear out? Well, this got more interesting. Manual override in the cockpit. Well, most of the stuff in the cockpit doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I don't know which where the lever is anyway. I can't, none of that stuff clicks. Flaps work? Flaps work, but landing gear doesn't? What kind of stupid business is this? Hold on. Let me just see if there's a control for landing gear deployment that I don't know about. A little bit more suspense. Gear. Toggle landing gear. Gear down. Control G. Toggle gear emergency handle. Alt G. Validate. Okay. Well, we'll try it. Apply and save. Alt G. Oh! Okay, we got some... Oh, shoot. It's not really... Okay. Alright. We're in business. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I don't have actual engine power. I better get off the runway. Either I'm getting off the runway or I'm never getting off the runway. It's <laughs> ah, truck! You fool! Oh, it logged the flight. Welcome to Juno. Tower is upset with me. I don't know. That was an emergency landing. I'm in F-15 doing an emergency landing. They can't get upset. <laughs> 